guys. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about a trick that we just pulled off that I think is going to be a huge hit in our in our house or at our house for years to come. So uh, we were outside the other day. We had a bag of sand. We had a few extra um, pieces of lumber kicking around the property. If you live on a farm at all or have a house that you have to take care of, you probably have a few pieces of wood sitting around that you could use for the same. Um, so we just decided that this natural area would be a good place for um, especially our four-year-old to have a little sandbox. But I don't want to commit to a sandbox that I have to have all the time or that will fill with water or that the cat could get in and then we couldn't clean it out real easy. So these are totally removable. They're not attached at all. Um, they're just a good place to kind of build a frame and then they can be moved. Um, the chickens might get in here and scratch around so we can clean it out real easy. Sweep it away and it's kind of gone and disappeared. But um, in the meantime, um, the kids can play in here and have a good time using some of these like natural materials and also kind of recycled materials. Um, and I just want to give you a few ideas because it doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, I think probably grand total of all of this stuff is about $15, maybe. Probably not even that much because I scrounged a lot of it just from around the house. So we've got the sand that we put in. We could add more maybe. You know, a bag of sand I think is about 3 to $4. Um, the, we've got these recycled lumber. Um, somebody donated this. I asked a friend if they still wanted their little kitchen. Their kids are grown up, but they didn't want it anymore. So it happened to be Abraham's birthday this week, and uh, they were generous enough to just give it to us. Although I found them really cheap online to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. You usually can find them for 15 to $30. Maybe a local consignment store or thrift store or whatever. Don't go buy a new one to keep outside, but, um, but I like this. I like the colors of this one, right? It's kind of natural. So still plastic, it will hold up in the weather pretty well. Um, and then we just added a few things like some old yogurt containers, um, acorns for playing with, which most of this is collected and gathered by the kids. You don't really have to guide this very much. In fact, one of the fun things about um, being outside with kids is encouraging them to get creative with things they can find. So um, who knows what else they'll come up with. Um, but we've got some funnels. We went to the beach a few weeks ago, brought home a bunch of shells. You can play with those like their dishes and the little sink area. So, I mean, it's just a lot of fun. When it's warmer outside, I'll be happy to let them have water and um, pour and make a mess. And it's not something that I have to worry about at all because nothing will be lost, right? And so it's just a really fun way to encourage kids to be outside, play outside, make mud pies, right? Get dirty um, and um, and also be out in nature more and get in the, sun, in the sunshine and... and get creative with what's already around us. But anyway, I just wanted to share that little tip and idea with you guys. Um, as the fall days get colder, you kind of get a little bit like, oh, we're just going to stay inside and play. But I encourage you to put on uh, warm clothes and get outside anyways because um, nothing beats fresh air and sunshine um, during these colder months, even though it seems like it's easier to just snuggle up inside. So anyway, that is what our homeschool looks like. I hope that you have a great day.